Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Another arrest in a phony home repair scheme that CBS2 has been tracking since about this time last year. Police now say they've arrested both suspects involved. Now prosecutors can move forward. And Morning Insider Tim McNicholas walks us through the timeline of a case that spans more than 60 miles from one county line to the other. What's your reaction? What are your thoughts when you see that? Tiana Hill takes no pleasure in this moment. <laughs> She's glad it exists, but it's not glad sad. to see it. It's just sad. She's looking at the latest mugshot in a fraud investigation that she helped with. In fact, this mugshot wouldn't exist if not for her. Maybe I was the person God chose to put this to an end and to step out. Let's go back to late 2020. A homeowner ghosted by her contractor. Hill told us Riverside Roofing and Masonry took thousands of dollars from her, then disappeared from her South Shore home without finishing the job. This means so Right. Hill connected us with another person with a similar story. Someone who'd snapped a photo of one of the so-called contractors, Justin Ephraim. Here's that photo side by side with his mugshot. Then there was the Crocker family. They saw our first reports and recognized that man from their home repair nightmare down in Crete. And it does hurt. Which caught the attention of Crete police. The key turning point in this was when our victims were able to identify Ephraim from the CBS News report. Back in July, Creep police explained that two people now face felony charges in the case. At the time, detectives said they'd already arrested George Molina, but they were still looking for Ephraim. Extensive uh, leg, work. leg work. Then, last week, an update in our inbox. Ephraim was arrested outside his house in Chicago by Glencoe police, who said they were assisting Crete with their warrant. Y'all actually doing the story and listening, we were able to help others from being uh, impacted and affected by this. Hill hopes Molina and Ephraim learned to leave their old ways behind, so no one else suffers like she did. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Both of those men were arrested earlier this year on lesser charges in Glencoe, but now Crete police say they combined that Glencoe case with theirs, leading to stronger charges in their words, hence the new arrests. You can find Tim's original reports on this case in the CBS Chicago app. Look for the section called Morning Insiders.